And now for more dysfunctional computer family metaphors. Last time we talked about processes, what they are, how you create them. And if you missed that last video, you might wanna go back and watch it. It will make this video make more sense. I can wait a minute, just pause this video, go back and watch that one and then come back. Okay, have it your own way, but we're gonna carry on. Last time we used the fork system call to create new processes. Basically to clone, to, to take one process and clone it, make a copy. Basically we're making little baby processes. But if we stop there, if all we have is fork, then really all we can do is create two different running versions of the same program. We have to have all the source code in the original program. And today we wanna to look at how you make one process actually run another program in a child process. But how do I create a child process that runs another program? And the answer is exec. Exec VE, exec LP, exec VPE, exec, anyway, exec, exec star. Exec is a family of function calls available on any POSIX compliant operating system that essentially runs a new program on top of the current process. And pay attention here because it's a little weird. When you call exec, it doesn't create a child and run the program in a child process. It actually runs the program that you specify, but it replaces the current process. The current process ceases to exist. I mean, well, it's still, it's still the current process. It's, it has the same process ID, but it's totally replaced. It's replaced by the new program. So the program that was running ceases to exist. It's no longer there. And this can be a little weird. If you think about the return value of exec, uh, really exec is only going to return if something went wrong. If for some reason it could and start the new program, then it's gonna return an error. But otherwise the calling program is just gonna to cease to exist and the new program is gonna be running in its place. So let's start with the example from last time. In this example, I use fork to create a child process. Each process also checks the return value from fork to determine whether or not it's the parent or the child. Now we can add an exec call to the child. Now let's say we want our child process to actually run ls. We wanna get a directory listing or something. So it's gonna run a separate program. So we're gonna add an exec call and it's going to actually run the ls program. Notice that ls runs and the code that I just put after the exec call doesn't ever get called. Also, you notice I use exec LP, but what's with all those other variations? Okay, so, so let me just break it down. It's actually not that complicated. So the first letter in there is, it's gonna be exec either V or L. V stands for vector, and it means that you passed in the arguments to the program as a vector or basically as an array. Uh, if I use L, it means I'm gonna, it's gonna be part of the argument list. So I'm gonna list it on the list of arguments. So this is a variadic function. Basically I can list out as many of those arguments and they'll be passed to the program. If I add the P into there, so like an exec VP, then that means we're gonna do path searching. So that means that it's going to look at the path environment variable and actually search for the LS program that I'm trying to run. So if I take off the P, now I'm going to have to actually provide the absolute path to the LS program in order for this to work because it's not going to search the path. So P just makes things more convenient. So if you add a letter E on there, that means that you want to pass a different set of environment variables to the new program that you're about to run than what was passed to the original process that's creating, that's calling exec. If you don't specify E, the environment variables from the original process will just be passed to the new process. Also, whether you use V or L to specify how you're gonna pass in arguments Remember that that argument list needs to be null terminated so that exec actually knows when there are no more arguments. Okay, that's very important. And folks, that's how it's done. If you look at other functions like popen and system that also create child processes and run some command or run some other program, if you look at their source code, you'll notice that they all follow the same pattern. They fork to create a child process and then they use exec to replace that child process with a new program. And so now you know how to have one process, create a new process and run a different program in it on Linux, Mac, FreeBSD or any POSIX compliant operating system out there. And that's all I have for you today, folks. I did promise a video on zombies and don't worry, it's coming, but you're gonna have to wait till next time. Until then, happy coding and I'll see you later.